and welcome to Rashi's Speech Test. Today's video is the sweatiest gold token combos. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be sweatiest combos for gold token backbling, and this video was suggested by Vorsh Tech. Thank you very much for the video suggestion and they said sweatiest gold token combos. The gold token backbling itself could have been obtained as a reward from the Wix Bounty Challenges in Chapter 1, Season 9. Basically, the Wix Bounty LTM game mode. You had some challenges to do if you don't know if you got given this backbling. But decided to make 10 different combos. Let's get into the first skin, which has had to be Travis Scott, which is a skin I pretty much use most of the time with the gold token. Part of the Travis Scott set in shoes in Chapter 2, Season 2. If you don't have this skin, you can also use Lewis Hamilton and just use his black clothing style. That's quite nice as well as an alternative to this skin. Back bling is obviously the gold token, part of the John Wick set in shoes in Chapter 1, Season 9. This is how the back bling looks with Travis Scott. Works perfectly. The pickups I always like to use with Travis Scott and a gold token is Harley Hitter, part of the Gotham City set in shoes in Chapter 2, Season 1. This is Harley Quinn's pickaxe. Very nice DC series pickaxe. Works perfectly with this combo. The umbrella for all combos is a classified, which is a victory royale umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 2. But I'd use it for gold design. Contrail is Saplite, part of the grouped set in shoes in Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass, part of for the yellow design. But you can use any other gold themed or the yellow design Contrails or any Contrail in general. But I thought I'd go for a yellowy gold themed one for these combos. Anyway, I usually use Ballistics, but I thought I'd switch it up with Saplite, because I've been, I've been using Saplite a lot with the gold token backbling. Let's move on to the first referat, which is Gaming Legends series, which is Mayhem, part of the Mayhem set in shoes in Chapter 1, Season X. And it's based on Psycho Balance referat or the Borderlands weapon, I'm pretty sure you got from Pandora Challenges in Chapter 1 Season X. Works very nicely for like, the actual, I guess, cartoony theme. Goes nicely with the pickaxe, also goes nicely with the Travis Scott skin and the gold token. Now let's move on to combo number two now, which is Lara Croft. Part of the Lara Croft set in shoes in Chapter 2 Season 6's Battle Pass. She was the first ever Game Legend series skin we got. For this one, you can either use the Lara Croft style, which is what I'm using, the 25th anniversary or even the gold anniversary. But I decided to stick with the standard. That's the one I usually use. This is how the back bling looks with Lara Croft. Works perfectly. Pickaxe is a Leviathan Axe, which is a Gaming Legends series pickaxe. Part of the Oathbreaker set in Houston Chapter 2 Season 5 and is Kratos' pickaxe. Works perfectly for the brown design. Goes very nicely with the skin. If you don't have this pickaxe, you can also use a combat knife instead of this one. Let's move on to the second weapon wrap now, which is a fully brown themed weapon wrap, which is Rogue Archaeology. Part of the Indiana Jones set in Houston Chapter 3 Season 3. Part I'd use this for the fully brown design. Definitely my favourite one to use with the Lara Croft skin. And Indiana Jones was the secret skin from that season. Let's move on to combo number three now. For this one, I thought I'd use Aura in shoes in Chapter 1, Season 8. This could be bought in the item shop, similar to Travis Scott, which could have been bought in the item shop all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 2. The style I like to use is default. You can also use any of them, but I just have to stick with the default myself. This is how the back bling looks with the skin. works perfectly. Pickaxe is the Catwoman's Grappling Claw, which is a DC series pickaxe, part of Batman 0 point set in shoes in Chapter 2, Season 6. And this is Captain Zero's pickaxe. You may use this fully blacked out design. Let's move on to the wrap, which is fully blacked out, which is Boogeyman, part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9, similar to the back bling, the gold token. You got this from the Whips Bounty Challenges, for doing a certain amount of them. Works very nicely for the fully blacked out. Let's move on to combo number four. Now, for this one, I thought I'd use I thought I'd use this skin here, which is pretty clean, which is Caper. So, obviously, my one of my most popular videos, I say Kappa, but obviously it's Kappa. And this skin in general works perfectly. You can also use Alias, but I prefer to use Kappa myself. Which is part of the Escape Artist set in Houston Chapter 4, Season 4. And this is a setup I like to use with the Kappa skin. The face is Psycho, as you see here. And then the back of the head is All Time Drip. And the actual appearance is just standard for me, but you can obviously change up the skin tone if you want. Headgear, I don't like to use any, but you can use any of them. For example, Cap, Bunny Hood, Cub. Perked or bunny, any of those quite nicely. Headgear colour is white, jumpsuit colour is taupe, accessory colour is white, so it's basically white, taupe, and then white. It gives it a nice look here. Now, see the actual psycho spray, or I don't know what it is, spray stick, or whatever it is for the mask, works very nice. Face like a female psycho band, which is pretty cool. The back bling works very nicely with this skin, especially with the gold. It's not exa exactly a gold style you can use for the 
caper, so that's why I use this tote instead. Pickaxe is a gold crow, part of the double agent set. In shoes in chapter 2, season 3. Works nicely for the gold, and also the black does work nicely as well with the umbrella. Let's move on to weapon wrap now for this combo, which is a gold and black themed weapon wrap, with this, which is Midas Memory, part of the golden ghost set. In shoes in chapter 2, season 2's battle pass. This is Midas's weapon wrap from that season. Don't have this, use any other gold or black themed weapon wrap, or could be fully gold, would work nicely. Let's move on to combo number five. Now, speaking of Psycho Bandit, I thought I'd use Psycho Bandit, which is a Gaming Legends series skin, part of the Mayhem set, in Shoes in Chapter 1 at Season X. The back bling works perfectly with the skin. I usually like to combo this with the back bling gold token and the Harley Hitter, but since I've been using the Harley Hitter with Travis Scott, I thought I'd go with the Icebreaker, part of the Arctic Command set, in Shoes in Chapter 1, Season 1. I know Mongrel used the main Psycho Bandit, used to use Psycho Bandit, the Rainbow Clover, and then the Icebreaker Pickaxe. But I thought I'd use the Icebreaker Pickaxe and the Gold Token. Works very cleanly. This is how the pickaxe looks. But the skin works perfectly. Let's move on to the Breath Wrap for this combo. Similar to Midas Memory, I thought I'd use Greed. It's part of the Midas Revenge set in Shoes in Chapter 2, Season 2. This is All Rose Breath Wrap. I thought I'd use it for the gold and black design. Let's move on to combo number 6 now. I thought I'd use a Marvel Series skin, which is Jennifer Walters. Part of the She-Hulk set in Shoes in Chapter 2, Season 4. Probably my favourite skin from that season, to be fair. I have the Max Style unlocked, which is Hollow Foil. Basically, like the Rainbow Foil. You can also use Gold Foil if you want to use that one. But I thought I'd use a Rainbow Foil myself. And this is how the back bling looks, but the skin works pretty nicely. I thought I'd use Rainbow Foil so I could actually combo it with the pickaxe, which is Star Wand in Shoes in Chapter 1, Season 8. This could be bought in the item shop. Works nicely for the gold, the pink, and a little bit of blue and white blue light blue and dark blue let's move on to weapon wrap now which is rainbow themed which is rainbow fog in shoes in chapter 2 season 4 goes absolutely perfectly with the rainbow style of the jennifer white was what is it called again the hollow foil isn't the hollow foil always got rainbow but i mean hollow foil goes nicely with the skin let's move on to combo number seven now i thought i'd make combo I thought I'd make a combo for pretty OG skip, which is Skull Troop, which literally came back in the art shop today at the time of recording this, which is the 8th of October 2024. So I thought I'd use the gilded Skull Trooper style for the black and gold design. The back one works perfectly for the gold, as you can see right here. Pickaxe is the Vault Guardian, part of the Getaway Gang set in Shoes in Chapter 4, Season 1. I thought I'd use this for the black and gold design. I would have used a gold token, but since I already used it in the previous combo, I thought I'd use this one instead. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now for this combo, which is golden black, part of the undercover summer set in Shoes in Chapter 2, Season 7. Works perfectly for the gold and black design. This one's reactive based throughout the game. Starts off fully black and it gets more golden throughout, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 8. The skin I used to always use with the gold token, which is Midas, part of the golden ghost set in Shoes in Chapter 2, Season 2's Battle Pass. Probably one of my favourite skins, definitely Midas. My favourite skin is either Black Knight, Midas or Travis Scott. Definitely my top three skins. I just love the skin so much. And the actual style I'm using is Golden Agent for the fully golden design. And this is how the gold token looks. Works pretty nicely. Pickaxe is the big spoon. I love big spoon. I wasn't sure what pickaxe to use. I thought I'd use this one. Part of the Unicorn Flake set. Introduced in Chapter 2 Season 8. This pickaxe is pretty cool as well. If you use the Golden Crunch Spoon style, pretty much fully golden. Has a little bit obviously rainbow or not rainbow galaxy design, basically where the actual cereal is. But either way, it works nicely for the golden design. The weft wrap, technically you don't need one. So obviously I just put on a random weft wrap, which is mine's memory. Here's one, but you don't need one. So he's reactive, basically he touches a weapon, he makes it golden. So you obviously need to use a weft wrap with Midas. Let's move on to combo number nine now, which is focus, part of the focal point set. In Susan chapter one, season nine. I thought I'd stick with the stand style. The back thing works perfectly. You can also use the second style with the focus, but I always like to use the standard. Pickaxe is a cold snap. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7. Works perfectly with the blue design, as you can see here with the actual focus skin. I really do like this emote a lot. It's a shame it was tied to Chapter 1, Season 7's Battle Pass. Obviously, it's pretty cool to be able to showcase certain weapons, or certain pickaxes, I should say. But obviously, certain pickaxes don't work with the emote. Let's move on to Weft Wrap now, which is blue themed, which is light blue and dark blue, which is polished stone. In Houston Chapter 3, Season 3's Bat Pass, this Weft Wrap goes perfectly with the Focus skin and also the Cold Snap pickaxe. Let's go on to the final combo now. I thought I'd use an OG skin, but an OG combo I'd like to use was pretty sweaty back in the day, which is the Reaper, part of the Hide Gun set in Houston Chapter 1, Season 3's Bat Pass. He was a Tier 100 skin, basically a John Wick skin. Or well, this skin was inspired by John Wick, obviously, before we got the John Wick skin in Chapter 1, Season 9. Batwing works perfectly with this skin. 
as you see right here. Pickaxe is a Reaper, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 1, pretty OG pickaxe used to combo with the Reaper skin itself. Let's move on to the final weapon right now, which is, which is a Black and Silver Fiend weapon rack, which is Assassin, part of the John Wick set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. This can be bought in the item shop. I'd usually use the Boogie Man, but since I used it for another combo, I thought I'd use this one instead. Works nicely either way for the Black design. So that's all the sweatiest gold tokens combos done thank you once again to force tech for the video suggestion i really did enjoy getting sweatiest gold token combos done for this back bring. definitely one of my favorite back brings in, in general but definitely is my favorite golden one i do own but if you ever do have any other video suggestions you like to see for example skin back bring pickaxe glider slash umbrella conjure or red or anything other fortnite related always feel free to let me know in the comments down below in the comments down below i know we're getting a billy a billy skin from saw tomorrow he'll be in the art shop so i'll be definitely picking him up and getting combos done for him but anyways that's pretty decent